Greetings. Today I'm just doing a video on a technique I've been using for, for a few years now, uh, dodging and burning. There's other methods of dodging and burning and this technique's been used before. I'm going to use layer masks and the curves here. Also, I'm going to use the same technique also to sharpen an image. So first off, we can see the before and after, just a, a subtle effect to boost the exposure in the areas that I wanted. And here's the before and the after. Very subtle effect, but very effective technique in, in GIMP. So I'm going to duplicate the layer, and I'll call it bright. And if you're interested in uh, dodging and burning, you already know what it means. So I'll come to my curves layer. So I come here to my curves tool. If you don't have it on your toolbox here, you can always just come up to colors, drop down menu curves there and bring up the dialog. Here I'm just going to bring up the exposure. You can just click on the preview on and off. I'll just click OK. So now I'll come over to the layer that I created, add layer mask and black to full transparency. So click add. Now we're back to our main layer with the transparency on top. Go up to the paintbrush tool. See here the size of my brush. If you want to change the size of the brush to bracket keys or to make it simple, use the sliders here. Also my opacity is quite low and the force and hardness as well, because I want to add this slowly and build up the effect to what I want out of the image. So I'll make sure I'm on white here. So it will show through. Start slowly, just to build up. Start to shape the part of the exposure that I want to come through. If we click that on and off, you can see the subtle effect there. Also, if you have many layers or you just have two here, we can just uncheck the bottom one and we can work on that transparency layer. Start to paint that in piece by piece and you can see how soft it is on the transparency layer since we have the opacity and the hardness and force set quite low. I'll turn that base layer on to shape the, the light there on the, the book. Turn that on and off. And I'll just decrease the size of the brush here. I'm just going to scroll in. Yeah, just highlight some of these. Just doing a rough job here. Control Shift J to get it back to the fill the screen here. If I turn that on and off, you can see the effects there. And also, if you think it's too strong, just pull down the opacity of the effect. Oh, increase the opacity to 100. Next, I'm going to right click on that layer. New from visible. Just rename that dark to make it simple. Back to our curves. Again, if you don't have it on the side here, just on the colors. Drop down menu curves. This time I'm going to create a custom vignette. So here I'll bring down the exposure. Let's turn that preview on and off. This is a be a very subtle effect here for a vignette. So click OK and again, same, add layer mask, black to full transparency and add. Make sure white so is selected, back to the paintbrush. This time I really want to increase the size of this brush. There we go. Slowly around the edges. Let 
I'll just hold down the shift button and click on the eye there on that layer we're working on. We can see the transparency layer. Very simple technique, very effective. Okay, I'll hold down shift and bring the other layers back. So if I turn the top one off, very subtle around the edges there. Just a hint of vignette, considering the, the image I took here a few years ago was already created quite dark. So if we turn the vignette off, to darken it down, and then our exposure for the book. See the sides of the book here. Turn that on. Very simple technique. I've been using this for a few years now and I find it very effective. Let's flatten those layers and export. May do a little bit of sharpening and for the final, final image before print. So here I'll use the technique again in a different way. So here I'm just going to use the similar technique using the paintbrush but in a different way using the layer mask by sharpening. First of all I'm going to duplicate the layer and sharpen come up to the filters come down to it enhance and sharpen unsharp mask I'm just going to scroll in a little bit see we have the dialog box and I want to turn the amount down a little bit click that preview on and off you can see the sharpening taking effect there on the edges. So just click OK. And again, right click, add low mask, black to full transparency, back to our paintbrush. And I'll lower that paintbrush quite a bit. You can also use the bracket keys and start to paint in the, the area that I want to be sharpened. I found this very effective, especially when it comes to portraits. You can selectively just sharpen the eyes or parts of the face and soften the other parts of the image. You can also use this for using Gaussian blur or other, other tools. Click on that eye there. You can see how it sharpens just those areas. If I hold down the shift, you can see here where it's taking effect very soft edges because I have the opacity quite low also the hardness and the force so here I'll just paint a bit more in if you if I put too much in I can start to take off what I want to it's very handy working on the transparency layer I tend to use this when I'm preparing photos for print There we go. So if I turn that on and off again, the top layer. If I'm happy, I just flatten the image. Control Shift J to fill the screen. And then export. Very simple technique, but very effective. I found this very useful and I've been using this for over the past few years.